This is Khao Sok National Park in southern Thailand. It's one of the oldest evergreen rainforests in the world, even older than the Amazon, and it covers close to 740 square kilometers. But unlike the beaches, the parties, and the food that Thailand is known for, Khao Sok is all about the outdoors. It's the wildlife, exploring the lake, and heading into the jungle. There's a handful of epic experiences, so today we've picked two of the top rated. To start, we're visiting an elephant sanctuary. Jesus! But anxiously hoping it's a legitimate one. I don't really know what else to add. I'm too anxious to talk. <laughs> We're also floating in the river on a traditional Thai bamboo raft and hanging out with monkeys. So we normally try and be really helpful in our content so that we can, like if, if you find this because you're researching, you kind of know where to go, what to do. But Khao Sok National Park is tricky. Yeah, we didn't give ourselves very long to plan this and it turns out you do need a little while. <laughs> yeah, so I think you either book well in advance and probably pay higher prices. We paid over, what did we pay for today? Over 6,000, 6,200 baht I think, including yeah this transfer and part of that reason and that's for both tours. So I think that the reason it's so expensive is because we also had to pay 2000 for a transfer because of where we're staying. We kind of thought that this would be a good place because it's close to the pier uh, for when we do like a lake tour. Which will be in the next video. But... It's not very helpful today at all. <laughs> anyway, the positive news is that we're staying in a really cool place which we will share more on later. So our accommodation is here. The lake tours run from here and the elephant sanctuary and main township are around here. So we're still not 100% sure on where is best because you're only close on one of the days. Either way, we've booked both tours back to back with a place called Our Jungle Camp and we've got other links below. First one from a distance, but first of many hopefully. They're so amazing, like they're huge. I forgot how big they are. Massive, eh? So a big topic of conversation in Thailand these days is around elephants and around the ethical treatment of them. You should never ride the elephant because of the process they go through to like break them. It's it's really not, it's not nice. It's something you should look into if you're curious more. According to the website for this place, the elephants we're gonna see today are either like rescued from tourism or from, from like logging and all that kind of stuff. And that this is their retirement and that uh, these sanctuaries are supported through tourism, obviously, because of how expensive it is to feed these elephants. So there should be no riding. And I mean, we've had only good experiences in the two times we've been to a sanctuary like this in Chiang Mai. Hopefully we don't see anything today that kind of like, we're gonna be honest. Makes us suspicious, but I mean, we'll be honest if we see anything that we kind of don't like. I mean, you'll be able to see it on Stace's face anyway. Can't hide it. She won't be able to hide it, and we wouldn't want to hide it from you anyway. So um, stay tuned and we'll see how this goes. We, we just said we're actually feeling a little bit anxious. Oh, hey. Hey. Her name is Sao Kwak. Sao Kwak? Yes, Sao Kwak. Sao Kwak. Sao Kwak. That's yes. tough to say. Sao Kwak. <laughs> so big. Ah. Oh. <laughs> You got some spiky mm -hmm. hair, girl. Um, in the bucket, I have the banana, yes, and this supplementary food, okay? okay. But yeah, I yeah. I put the water ready and look right. like a yes. Okay. And oh. this uh, ripe powder, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way the tongue grabs. Yeah. Right? I got one more. One more. So apparently this is this is like the healthy food. This isn't the fun food for no. uh, for elephant. This is so they the can supplement. eat up to was it up to five hundred kilograms a day. Yeah, so food. they eat like bamboo and pineapple and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's to, it's to okay, don't worry. <laughs> you got the name, boo? Sao Quak. Sao Quak. Sao means lady. Quak means coming. So maybe they're like. She's coming! <laughs> <laughs> and yo, she's big, so you can hear her when she's coming as well. So these guys, or girls, they sleep about two to four hours a day. The rest of it, they're basically just eating. Like, that's their whole... hours a day, they eat. Their whole witness is just consuming food. I mean, to eat 500 kegs worth of kai, you'd have to, yeah. you'd have to spend quite a bit of time. That's true. I like this though. Like, she's just walking in front of us now with her mahout, and she's fully free range. Like, he's not... Not even touching her. Touching her yeah. at all. And There's another free ranger out here too. <laughs> yeah, they seem like they have a lot of freedom, which is nice. It I mean, is we've nice. only been here a short time, but from what I've seen so far, I'm feeling a little less 
anxious. Okay, that's which good. Is good. Yeah. But we're heading to the spa now. Ooh. Gonna give her a little mud bath. <laughs> She seems to be having fun. She loves it. So we got our mud. We're, we're walking in this delicious water. Ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Let me hold one so you can get some mud on it. Oh, it's so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> you like? <laughs> what you don't actually see is all these little micro hairs. And they're so thick. It's just like wild touching them. It's like she needs some moisturizer, not mud. Let's be honest. That's here. what it's for. I mean, I was just joking with her. Like, look at all this skin, girl. <laughs> you can't talk. <laughs> yeah. Dane's got real stretchy skin. got real skin. stretchy skin if you want some. She's dirty. <laughs> We did a pretty good job apart from the booty. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get too close back there in case you need to go. <laughs> that was insane though. Like even though we've kind of had a similar experience before, I think being one on one is just something so special. Yeah. You know, you can kind of sense what they do and don't like and if you found like a good itchy spot or something, <laughs> like yeah, it's amazing. And how about your body? Because you're. Oh, yeah, I actually covered forgot for a second. Shit. It's not, it's mud. I went to the spa. Yeah. The Mahout, he was just laughing at us. He kept going, because he's got like all over his glasses and he's obviously just wearing clothes. He's not stoked. Because she kept like swinging her trunk. Bucket for splashing and for scrubbing. Okay. Oh, oh, she's laying down. down. <laughs> that is majestic. How incredible, man. You know, it's kind of intimidating being up against her. I mean, she is, as you can see, enormous. So kind of intimidating because you look at that trunk and you think just one whoosh, and I'm, and I'm Gonskis. But she seems just so calm to just lie there and just get this all scrubbed off. It's really sweet to see. It's actually quite hard work. Yeah, I was going to say, we pay to come here and do all the hard yards. This would be so nice. <laughs> Seriously, sp spreading elephant techniques right now. <laughs> awesome, I started down the bottom and then I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, Roll over. Done, done. Oh, oh. oh Johnny. Come on. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Now the moment she's been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, go, 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 go. Oh, two for one. Oi. Oi, oi. She's, she's total free range, man. She's just off. Oh, that was lovely. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I'm sad to say goodbye. That was so much fun. And she seemed like a really happy elephant. Yeah, she did. Bye. Bye, beautiful. I thought we'd read somewhere that we get towels included or we could get them, but that might be to do with the bamboo thing next. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to just kind of rinse off a little bit. But I mean, we're going out on the on the river, so I don't think it matters too much. Interesting toilet setup. <laughs> it's quite creative. And then there's another elephant just chilling out the back there too. Shower's just as free range as the elephants. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Oh, it's hot because it's been sitting in the sun. Oh, and it's cold. And it's freezing. <laughs> oh, I hit my knee. Oh, oh God. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I was going to say, they're quick to turn that around. We've got some water, some pineapple. <laughs> 120, but hey, we'll take it. there's not much else. I think we've got to wait about 20 or 30 minutes before our ride comes, so. Okay. Hey, it's the right one too. Look, it's got elephants on it. You know, looking at it now, I I think getting a scooter and cruising a lot of this yourself would be a lot of fun. And I think the scooter prices that we saw were low price was 300, high price was about 600 for 24 hours. So if you go, I mean, we paid 1800 or so for the transfer alone. So if you did that, you'd get way more of an adventure and you can stop wherever you want. You don't have to wait around for people. The only thing is it would be really hot. 
Oh yeah. Super hot. Would depending be. on what time of year you come. And apparently it rains a lot here, so I think we've got lucky with the weather today, but could yeah. be a massive adventure. It rains the most out of anywhere in Thailand. I think anywhere between like November up to April. Wow. It's good, it's good. Oh. <laughs> Okay, great! <laughs> I suppose an advantage in the opposite direction is that this guy's just pulling over and being like, take another picture, here's another good spot. So you just got to go with the punches and see what you end up with. Those mountains are insane! If you've been to El Nido, Palawan area in the Philippines, you'll get a feel for what we're talking about when we say that it might not come across on this like wide angle lens, but that these mountains just straight up. So this is the town we're driving through now. So the situation is these people that are staying here, looks a little bit more chill, a little bit more like walking, you know, one main walking strip. Um, but this looks very backpackery. As you'd expect, a little bit pricier in a spot like this, but. Lots of options, hey? Yeah, it's a good, good menu, but look, Kalsui. It's so hot though. Ready for bamboo rafting? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't quite know what to expect from this, other than like a cruisy. Do we have to paddle? It's a couple of cruisy hours. I have no idea actually. Oh. Oh, thank you. I know we get some coffee along the way, so maybe we are expected to paddle if they feed us coffee. Hello. Hello. Hi. There we go. Are you going to come along? Come on. Come, come. We don't know who these people are. They just showed up at the same time. Uh, and we're, we're all going together, apparently. I really didn't expect them to have these, like, legit wooden seats. I thought they'd be a little cushion or something. Also, don't expect to see a motor. It's going to be fun. It's like it's just a sunset river cruise for two. <laughs> it does seem that way, eh? Uh, the water, we already knew, was not going to be, like, amazing, as you can tell. It's not like we're cruising down some beautiful, you know, blue, icy New Zealand water. God, I feel small, small on these landscapes. First rapids. Oh, that's gonna be a great one. <laughs> <laughs> is this like that? I think we're tricky for this. This is like that waterfall that you went down that time on the raft. Yeah. Seven meter waterfall and I fell out <laughs> just like that. <laughs> well, this is crazy. I didn't expect this. The babies are so cute. Just so you can get a wide view of what's actually happening here. For some reason we were the only ones that went on the bamboo. I would definitely do bamboo because this is just kind of a bit weird when you're not even doing any of the work. But we're just chilling here with a, a whole tribe of monks. There's a, a lizard up there somewhere. It was probably about a meter and a half long, you think? Yeah. He gone. That was massive though, wow. This is a lot more peaceful than I thought it would be, in a good way. This is lovely. They really should um, have some drinks though. Sitting here with a Chang, yeah. that'd be ideal. <laughs> I, <can't stop. laughs> I thought you were going to say what's going on. <laughs> um, we have just stopped for coffee. From what we saw online, um, there are these bamboo cups that we get some kind of coffee. I'm hoping it's like a local coffee. Do you know any more than I do? I know I can smell a lot of cannabis right now. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's Amsterdam coffee. It's special coffee. <laughs> Damn. Nature. Yeah, she's, she's creative this day, wasn't she? I thought making espresso at home was hard. <laughs> He's really got to get the full thing on. Oh, no way. Oh. That's awesome. 
Okay. Let me go hook up the car. Well, today's been pretty random in a way. The way that it's kind of executed versus the way that it's sold in a way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I feel like it's even better than what I kind of expected. Yeah, it was pretty casual when you really break it down. But anyway, not as random as when we first arrived yesterday at this place that we're staying here. So we just randomly booked this place. Uh, trying to get into Kaltok National Park. And miles we, away. <laughs> miles away because Stacey was like, it looks really beautiful. It was such a short walk. <laughs> 30, 30 meters um yeah i don't really know we don't really know what's what's going on but um there's like this weird swimming pool that runs along the front and it just looks super cool and kind of modern and so we just booked it and uh we're just kind of rolling the dice and, and seeing how this plays out it's kind of one of those weird things you do while you travel <laughs> it looks cool from here okay. very nice that's awesome check that out oh Drop the cup. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what have we ended up with? What a winner. I do think we're miles away from everything though. That we had to pay for a driver to like even get us here because we couldn't figure out the taxi situation or anything. Um, and he stopped at the 7-Eleven and was like, do you need to buy some snacks? So I think we're like, we're isolated from everything. But um, good find. This is beautiful. <laughs> if you don't mind being out in the middle of nowhere. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I, I think that's the deep end. <laughs> no, I uh, good job, babe. We're whispering. I'm not sure if we really need to. I know there's one guy down there, but the way that it works is there's actually there's five rooms. And there's there's two blocks. So there's another block there. So that's one room. That looks like a VIP kind of room. We got the more budget room. And then there's two more there, so there's three, and then that's the fifth. So you got your. Does that make sense? Did I make do a good job of that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I only had one sip of beer, I promise. <laughs> 